LF Semiconductor is revolutionizing the way developers create advanced IoT products with their ensemble family of secure AI and ML-enabled 32-bit microcontrollers and Fusion processors. In this video, we will introduce the key security features of the Olive Ensemble products, including our secure enclave, the configuration matrix, the application table of contents, message handling units, and our security toolkit. The security threats to IoT devices can come from external sources and internal sources. These threats are ever-present and always evolving. With Ensemble, you can design with confidence knowing your products are secure, thanks to Olive's multi-layered security solutions. The secure, scalable Ensemble processors are perfect for a wide range of applications, including asset tracking, AI ML cameras, EV charging stations, and portable medical systems. Now, let's take a detailed look at the Ensemble architecture, security features, and secure, configurable boot process. The Ensemble silicon architecture is scalable with one to four user cores on the same IC. Because of this unique approach, we needed to construct a security system around the architecture that provides flexibility and that does not force certain configuration decisions. All Ensemble devices contain an independent secure enclave that manages all security aspects of the device, including control of the boot sequence. The secure enclave includes a configuration matrix that controls exactly what resources, such as memory and peripherals, each core can access. It does this using a series of firewalls across the main system bus. If a core attempts to access a resource that the configuration matrix does not allow, the hardware-based firewalls will step in and prevent the rogue access attempt from succeeding. This allows you to create multiple layers of security in your system with full control of any accessible resource in the system. The ARM Trust Zone security model is also supported. The configuration matrix can extend this to support multiple tiered secure domains. The Olive Secure Enclave is fully self-contained in a separate, isolated system with its own resources, including a CPU, secure memories, real-time clock, cryptographic engine, and a secure UART for provisioning. In an Ensemble device, the Secure Enclave is the first thing that starts when power is applied. All other cores are held in reset until the Secure Enclave releases them. The Secure Enclave is configured by provisioning it with a special file called the Application Table of Contents, or ATOC. The ATOC provides the user with full flexibility to configure the start sequence for application cores, select whether signature validation should be performed or not, define where in memory the images are located, define how the pin mux and clock tree should be set up, and apply the configuration matrix settings. Olaf provides a web-based configuration tool called Conductor that will help you create your ATOC. The ATOC is combined with your application images using the security toolkit cryptographically signed and packaged for installation into the system MRAM. After the application of power or a wake-up event, the Secure Enclave will boot its first stage from the Secure ROM, which cannot be modified. If the Secure Enclave is waking up from a low power mode with its RAM retained, it can skip RAM initialization. If this is a power-up with no RAM retained, it will load its second stage from Secure non-volatile MRAM. When the system is configured for warm boot, the Secure Enclave will immediately release the high-efficiency subsystem to boot from retained memory or MRAM, and then continue to load the Secure MRAM image. During a warm boot, no application signature validation will be performed, and therefore the warm boot option is not available in the Secure lifecycle state. In a normal boot, the system will verify the Secure MRAM image signature, then load the image into the Secure Enclave and begin execution. If the secure MRAM image signature validation fails, the boot process will stop and the device will enter recovery mode. This allows a new, correctly signed image to be loaded into the system through the secure UART. Continuing with the normal boot sequence, the SE will check to see if a power on wake up condition occurred for any of the subsystems. If yes, then the SE will restart that subsystem as specified and includes the option for a signature check. The secure enclave's built-in maintenance mode helps recover the ensemble from mistakes in the user applications. This mode is accessed using ALF's security toolkit through the secure UART after a full device reset. With the security toolkit, you can diagnose issues, erase memory, and load new images into the application MRAM. Continuing with the normal boot sequence, the SE checks to see if valid ATOC is present at the end of the MRAM. If yes, the SE processes the information in the ATOC 
which is used to initialize the SOC and boots up the subsystem cores as specified, including the option for a secure boot signature check. When no ATOC is present in MRAM, the SE will check to see if a valid application is programmed at the beginning of MRAM and will boot the HESS core from MRAM address 0x0. This option is not available in the secure lifecycle state. When no valid application is found at the beginning of the MRAM, the SE will load a debug stub into the TCM memory of the HESS and run it. This allows the customer to connect the debugger to a blank SOC device. This option is also not available in the secure lifecycle state. After this, the secure Enclave services are started. The application cores request services using a message handling unit, or MHU, which is like a hardware mailbox, but much more powerful. These MHUs facilitate communication between the secure Enclave and the subsystems, and between the subsystems themselves. Are you ready to take a leap into the future with secure, intelligent microcontrollers? Check out all of Semiconductor's ensemble family of microcontrollers and fusion processors. Learn more at alefsemi.com.